Hey everybody, it's Al, and I wanted to do a quick uh, Bob Art example for our woodworking customers. And um, a lot of times it's a good idea to sketch out what your concept is on paper first, and then go ahead and draw that in. And that's what I'm uh, attempting to do here. So I'll start off with a rectangle, let's say um, an 8 by 11. Okay. And then I'll do uh, an inside shape of a 7 by 10. From here, I'm going to create a fillet. Let's say a 2 inch fillet. I'm not going to trim it. That gives me that section there. And then I'll select that entity and I'll change its start and end point. So that gives me that. I'm going to go ahead and create a mirrored copy of this so we have one on the other side uh, from here I'll put a point at the 50% mark there and then we'll do line tangent we'll go from here to there here to there okay so now what I want to do is trim out uh, some of the geometry that I don't want Go ahead and select some lines that I want to get rid of. And delete. Okay. So now, from here, what I'll do is uh, draw an ellipse. Let's make it 2 by 1.5. Say OK. All right, I'm going to drag that over to up here. Actually, before I do that, let me rotate it, say 20 to 20 and Z. Okay. Then I'm going to mirror it. This one I'm going to rotate Offset these. I'll do the same with this one. Okay. So this gives me the basic layout that I want to work with. So from here, I'm going to translate this geometry so that the lower left hand corner is over there. Alright, so now I'll get into the bob art and I'll create some stock. I think I said 8 by 12. Oh, 8 by 11. Alright, so that looks good. Uh, from here I'm going to do a regular embossment. Do a quarter inch radius, that's fine. Go ahead and uh, click OK. We'll select our shape and then we'll regenerate it. Now, one of the things that I want to touch on really quickly is the base height and what effect that has on your part. So, here you can see we did an embossment and we have a quarter inch embossment. So, the corner is rounded over. But if we wanted it to start, we could tell it to start at a higher level. So, we'll say 1875 and then when we regenerate this now you can see it goes up that base height amount and then it rolls over the edge so that's the first part there I'll hit E on my keyboard to blank out the model we'll do another regular embossment this one we're gonna make one of these 
Let's see, we'll make this 0.25, we'll make this 0.125, and we'll say add, we'll choose OK. We'll go ahead and select this boundary and this boundary, spacebar, regenerate, embossment, there's our one ring. Now we're going to do another embossment, and to start with we're going to use the same settings, so quarter inch here, eighth inch there, we'll say add, we'll go ahead and uh, select our two shapes, regenerate our embossment, and one of the things that you'll notice right away is that when you add two embossments on top of each other, that th where they intersect doesn't necessarily give us the look that we want, okay? So there's a different type of embossment. Even if you look at this picture here, you can see that it's adding over the existing embossment. So what we want to do is a merge high instead. So when we do a merge high, and then we'll go ahead and regenerate, and you'll see that our uh, second ring disappeared. And that's because based off of the embossment, uh, if it's going to merge where it's high, well, it's actually not high enough, so it disappears altogether. If we come in here and I exaggerate this base height to maybe like an inch, and then click OK and regenerate, now you can see that it, it's merging high and it's way up here. But we just want to drop this down, so we're going to bring this down to, let's try half inch and regenerate. And that gives us the look that we're looking for. We can see the one ring is slightly higher than the other ring. And, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it's getting the result that uh, that is desired. Okay, so now from here, the next thing I want to do is... I uh, actually want to do an offset here. So let me go to Other, Offset. We'll offset this shape to the inside there. Now we're going to do another embossment, so we'll do regular embossment. This one's going to be uh, convex ellipse. We'll use a value of 1.5, and then we'll use a value of 375. And at this point, we will do a subtract and click OK. We'll select our inside boundary, we'll regenerate, bring up our embossment, and now we can see we have this negative cutout here with the rings in the center, which is a nice little design. Now, if you want to view this instead of in yellow, you can go and modify your stock and change the appearance. And if you want to put it, uh, there's a bunch of different um, wood, wood styles to choose from, and you can load in different images as well, and that will give you a more... Uh, realistic look of what it might look like. Now we did a negative here. If you didn't want to do a negative, you could change this and make it to an add and click OK. And then now you can see the the hearts pushed up with the ring. So just a, a quick uh, quick lesson on using embossments, adding, subtracting, merge high, and also the base height and the effect that that has. Uh, on your geometry. Uh, the next thing we might look at is uh, going through and machining this part. So we'll pick that up in the next video. Thank you so much, guys.